All right, what's up, guys? It's Joe Boat back with another video. Today I'm playing a game called Metaphobia, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, the game is pretty good. I think it's gonna be a great series that I'm gonna be doing. So leave a like if you guys enjoy, and peace. I'm a painter. I don't make much off my work, but I get by. I come from a long line of politicians, but I never wanted any part of that life. I traded the mansion on the hills for the life of a starving artist the first chance I got. Ooh. I never regretted it. All the city reporters used to know my name. Some of them knew me for my work. Most knew me for my father. Carl Elmstadt, my father, was the leader of the beloved Cosmopolitan Party. In this past year, he ran for mayor. He was running against Edward Raban, an old rival of his, and pledged to change the way City Hall did business. He was a natural leader and an honest man. He saw the city like not for father. what it was, but for what it could be. Politics was more than a job for my father. It was his calling. He never took a vacation and always showed up at town halls. For better or worse. That night was oh, his shit. last. A cold-blooded armed robber broke in and shot him. Damn. The killer stole everything he could lacking. and left my father bleeding on the floor. My father was a noble man. He deserved better. We about to solve this murder. When I was a kid, my father never had time for me. When I got older, I decided I didn't have time for him. Now I'm burying him, and I wish I could go back. I wish I could talk to him one more time and tell him that I admired his courage, that I loved him, and always did. Damn, I wanted to play the game to be happy, this not was no sad. Random crime. It was calculated, planned. I'm sure of it. After the election, my father made enemies, and that night one of them struck back. In my bones, I know that Edward Raban is responsible for this atrocity. But I have to prove it. I don't have many friends in this city. But if there's one person who can help me at a time like this, it's Judy. I only hope she'll take my call. Ooh. Said hi, Dad. So I'm going to assume it's my daughter. Sorry for skipping that. I have to find out what happened to my father. I know I haven't spoken to Judy in more than six years, but I need her help. I should call her as soon as possible. My knife! I've been looking for this for weeks. I wonder why it's in here. Did I? There we go. Judy, pick up the phone. Cassidy? Who the fuck is Hello, Cassidy? Judy. Oh, that's it's my name. Me. Wait, no, Richard. that's not my name. It's been a while. Wow, the great Richard Elmstead has decided to grace me with a phone call. Listen, Judy. I know you're upset with me, but I really need to talk to you. Talk about what? About my father's death. I need your help. Richard, but I haven't heard from you in six years. Now you want me to comfort you and tell you everything's gonna be all right? No, it's not like that. I'll explain everything. Go ahead then, explain. <sighs> Can we meet in private? Fine. Come Ooh. to my place. Thanks. Let's go to Judy's house. Let's go to Judy's house. What's up, baby? Hey, Judy. If it isn't the famous painter, Richard Elmstadt. Please, Call Judy. me Dick. Not now. I need your help. Must be pretty damn important for you to come crawling back to me. Come on, Jude. Stop it. I know it's been a long time, but I can't change that now. And, well, it's good to see you. I missed you. 
Yeah, right. If you missed me, you would have called. Judy, please. I really am sorry. Look, if it makes you feel better, you weren't the only one. I haven't spoken to anyone. Why? Why would you do that? What did we do to you? I can't explain what happened. I needed to leave. Whatever. So, what do you want? Uh... Your help? I'm here because I need your help. Of course you do. Whenever you need something, poof, you appear. You haven't changed a bit. I do. Judy, I can't apologize enough for what I did. I didn't want to leave you. I just couldn't be here anymore. You could have said something. You could have called. You just disappeared. I know. I was going through a difficult time. Don't act like the victim, Richard. We all thought you lost your mind. We thought you were- I know. Dead? Please forgive me. I wish I could go back and change it. I but you I can't. my dad. I think well, that's what happened. Nice to have you back, I guess. You look good. Hey. Thanks. You too. So, how have you been all these years? Eh, same crap, different toilet. But hey, I'm alive. I'm retired from the force, but man, do I miss it. I'm so bored, it hurts. Maybe I can help with that. <gasps> Here we go. I'm spitting Guy game. drops off the face of the earth and shows up at my doorstep saying he can save me. No, thank you. Come on, don't be like that. I said I was sorry. Come on, baby girl. I bet you're sorry. You know, you lost a good thing. I know Patricia was never crazy about me, but you were. What's done is done. Psh, yeah, whatever. Don't be like that, Judy. I'm here because I need your help. What a surprise. I know you're not on the force anymore, but can you still track down anybody under the sun? You still got the system up and running? Yeah, I still got it. You're the only oh, one shit, that can so help. Tired. So, spit it out. Who are we looking for? Uh, Edward or Bob. I'm sure you heard about my father. Of course. I'm so sorry. I need your help. I think Raban was behind it. Jesus, Richard. That is a bold accusation. You know he's the mayor, right? Exactly. He's the mayor now, since my father died. I never took you to be the conspiracy theory type. I know it may seem suspicious to you, but... You can't just go around accusing people of murder. Besides, they already caught the killer. I know. Wait, what? That's why I want to find out what really happened. That. On my own. Well, with your help. Sorry, Richard. It just sounds a little far-fetched. I need some kind of proof that Raban wanted to get your father out of the way. See you for now. Bye. <sighs> Bye, girl. Honestly, I don't need any of those books. I never had much of a green thumb. I leave that where it is. All right, Ducky, let's go to my office or my dad's office. All right, time to look for clues. I'm sorry, Father. I wish I'd been a better son to you when you were alive. I promise, I will find out who did this to you. I will. I don't need that. Okay, man. Jeez. Hmm. Let me see. An old phone book. I'll take it. Never know who I may need to call. Okay, let's check these drawers. It's empty. Okay. What about the bottom drawer? Peroxide in his work office? That's unusual. I'll take it, nevertheless. I love the smell of antique wood. Okay, weirdo. I love the smell of antique wood. We, we get it, dude. No time to relax. The police already went through his documents and computer data as part of their investigation. I won't find anything useful in there. Every war ends in peace. Father's favorite motto. I remember having this poster all over our house. 
I wonder why the word peace is written in capital letters. Hmm. There we that? go. It's a sealed document. Why did Father hide it like this? Why did Father hide it like this? An envelope I found in Father's office. I should open it carefully. These documents appear to be some kind of policy agenda. Let me see. Wow, this is huge. These documents detail my father's proposals for a wide array of new social programs. He called it Project Cosmo. He wanted to reinvest in the city's educational system with major building renovations and a new vocational school downtown. He had a plan Pretty to fight cool. homelessness too. The city would build new shelters and partner with drug rehabilitation centers on a new work training program. He was going to raise the minimum wage and create a system that would offer health care to all city residents. It's ambitious to say the least. But how would he pay for it? Mm. Apparently Project Cosmo also included an anti-corruption initiative. My father had located hundreds of millions of dollars in misused funds. This was money that was flowing to organized crime syndicates and, of course, right into the pockets of Edward Raban and his political cronies. Ah. This document identifies at least two dozen politicians from both parties who were stealing money from the budget. Amazing. Raban must have found out about this and knew it would be the end of him. Could this be why he had my father killed? I wonder who else knows about this. I may be the only one. I should be careful with these documents. I found a series of documents my father was hiding. They outlined an ambitious plan for the city's future. And trust me, this would have been the end of Raban's political career. What was in the documents? A series of social programs that would improve the city's schools, fight homelessness, raise the minimum wage, even offer health insurance to city residents. And all of it was going to be paid for by taking down the corrupt politicians who had been stealing from the city for decades. He named names, Judy. Most of them were Edward Roban's guys, too. He planned to go after Roban and his connections to organized crime. He was going to reform the whole city. Imagine the difference a man like that could have made. Huh. I guess I never knew that side of your father. I always assumed he was just like the rest of them. No. He was a great man. But I fear he made some powerful enemies. All right, Richard. Let's say for now that you're right about Raban. Maybe he did have something to do with your father's death. What's our next move? You need me to look into something? Research for Raban, why not? The public won't believe me unless I can prove what my father wrote in these documents. Think you can help? Can you dig into Edward Ugh. Raban's past a bit? Maybe we can find something that links him to the corruption my father talked about. Let me check. It's not going to be easy. Suspicious yep, hacking. like I thought. I can get you archived newspapers, police records going back a decade, maybe a few internal memos, but the good stuff is classified. Only one with access to the real Raban is Raban himself. Hmm. So I'll break into his office. Whoa, that's illegal, sir. Huh. Yeah, security will definitely let the son of a dead political rival rummage through their office. Good idea. Yeah, well, say like that. it's the weekend, so the place should be empty. I know these rich government types. They don't work on their day off. How are you going to get in? You need an employee card. Hmm. Hold on. I might have something. Is we used to call this a hand the job? skeleton key. It's an access Sorry. card like any of the government issued ones for employees, but it's got a chip so you can adapt to any sensor in the system. Opens every door in the city. You're kidding. We used it for investigations that required a little discretion. We got into buildings like Raban's all the time. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Shouldn't you give it back to the police? Please. 
The pension isn't what it used to be. I took a few things for myself on the way out. Can I borrow it? Maybe. What do we say? Please. Please and? Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. That's the Richard I remember. Call me Dick. See you for now. Bye. Oh, like a cross face is a dark place.